We are again going to look at some examples of Fox News host Steve Ducey going off script and trying to add some truth and common sense and connection to reality to these Fox and Friends broadcasts. He's been doing this for a little while. We don't know what's going on with Steve Ducey. Is this a character he's playing to create the impression of balance on Fox News? Is this Steve Ducey's frustration with the lack of truth or troth on Fox News bubbling up? We don't know. But here is a very interesting clip where they are talking about these 1023 forms related to um, the, the Biden supposed stuff that's going on. OK. And Steve Ducey mentions the fact that the 1023 wasn't released is not really suspicious. He talks about the 1023 form and he talks about Ray not handing over this letter until he found out that Chuck Grassley had already seen the letter. Um, so I, 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 I'm interested to see right. see how this is going to play out. But but it is something that Christopher Ray was so protective of this certain document. And Congress had to threaten them by saying, not just because they have oversight, but saying, you know, Christopher Wright, I already know the contents of this letter. You better release it or I'm going to haul you over. Right. But historically, the 1023 is never released because it's just a work product yeah. of, of the agent or agents who took the thing. Usually it's another form that winds up uh, in the public venue. So you understand that with that one statement, Steve Ducey totally rejects the ent entire conspiratorial use of the lack of 1023 being made public. The argument that Ducey's co-hosts and many right wingers have been making is with regard to this alleged whistleblower and the Bryden crime family and all these different things. It's suspicious. Christopher Ray has been working to hide the 1023 and then they refuse to release it. And Steve Ducey goes, yeah, that's an internal document. They're almost never released. It instantly debunks the whole story. And one line instantly debunking the whole story is quite common on Fox News. Here's another good one from the same episode. In this one, Steve Ducey mentions, by the way, everything that Republicans are considering impeaching Joe Biden for is completely unverified. Oh, th well, that kind of defeats the whole point of the impeachment, doesn't it? Kevin McCarthy has brought up the, the I word, the impeachment question. Uh, and he's calling it an inquiry. This is what he had to say and the reasons why they're considering this. Watch. Yeah. You've got IRS. OK, so then they play the entire Kevin McCarthy statement, which we have uh, already talked about before. OK, and then they go back to the hosts. So it's not an impeachment. It is to get all the information. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to inquire. Is there is this an impeachable offense? Great. We've, we've seen this movie a, a couple of times before. Mm -hmm. First step. Impeachment inquiry. Almost always it leads to an impeachment. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I've heard from members of Congress on the Republican side. They are going to they're, they're going to do the I word uh, of Joe Biden. <laughs> that guy right there doesn't look too happy in that picture. Uh, and they're going to use the 1023 form as the basis for everything. Here's the problem. Uh, and we'll talk to Miranda Devine about this here in about a half an hour is the 1023 form makes a damning case against mm -hmm. the Bidens, but it's completely unverified. And in fact, there are certain critical parts of the story that have been refuted by the people in the story. So so it, it, it's problematic. But <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. And so that's why Kevin McCarthy says we need other stuff. So st again, Steve Ducey saying, you know, there's a little bit of a problem with this entire impeaching Biden thing. They're using a form as the justification for building this impeachment case. Everything in it is unverified. And in fact, certain parts have been directly contradicted by the people mentioned in the 1023. So it's a little bit problematic, Steve Ducey says, the understatement of the century. I don't know what is driving this with him, but uh, it is interesting to watch some other recent examples. And uh, remember that the decoding Fox News account on both Twitter and threads covers this juicy, uh, I don't know, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde sort of thing or whatever it is. Here is Steve Ducey mentioning, hey, you know, a lot of the things that they're accusing Biden of, even if true, it's not actually clear that they're crimes. It is unclear what the joint venture is or was. Uh, and if it was just for Biden corruption, then why did they have other entities like uh, they had they mentioned Hudson and some other partners as well? If it was just to influence 
a former vice president, which I don't know if that's illegal, uh, why exactly were there so many other moving parts? And what the Republicans don't do here yet is they don't say uh, if any laws were broken and if anything was illegal. Well, right. It's just a little bit of a problem when they talk about locking up Joe Biden that even the things they're alleging he was involved in, never mind the fact that they haven't proven he's involved in them, they haven't even demonstrated that were he involved in them, they are actually crimes. That is a problem. That is a problem for the story that they are trying to build. And here's one last one. Here is uh, uh, Steve Ducey mentioning, you know, these economic numbers are actually good. They'll, all of the talk about the disastrous economy. The economy is doing pretty well under Biden. No, and that, you have just touched on the, the problem for the White House, and that is they've got some pretty good numbers going on. Uh, the jobs number is expected to come out a little later on today. It's expected to be about 250, 225,000. Unemployment is expected to drop down to 3.6%. Yesterday, there was a blowout number. ADP said that a, about a half a million jobs were added in June. The construction sector itself added 97,000 jobs in June. That's the biggest increase month over month in a decade. So they've wow. got these pretty good numbers, but the White House is stuck with a couple of people who are having a problem selling it because people don't feel like things are very good. OK, so I don't know what's going on with Steve Ducey. I like it. I don't know how much it really does to influence the audience of Fox News. But if you pay attention during these clips, it visibly annoys his co-host, Brian Kilmeade, who's like, oh, God, Ducey's doing it again. We don't know the orange oranges of this. We don't know the uh, point of it. We don't know the motivation, but uh, I love it, especially if you're talking about the summertime, as Don Jr. once said, especially in the summer. I absolutely love it. There's something really disturbing we've been seeing in the news lately. The FBI is now gathering huge amounts of data on everything people do on phones and computers. And here is how data brokers collect information about what you look at online, where you go, your political views. The FBI then buys that data to keep track of you. It is a legal gray area that the government will happily take advantage of. They don't need a court order. They just do it. But it's not just the government because criminals can end up accessing that data and use it to target you for phishing or identity theft. Big tech companies, political campaigns can buy the data to try to influence you. But here is the solution. Our sponsor Incogni automatically sends data removal requests to the major data brokers who are required by law to remove your information upon request. If any of your information stays online, Incogni will even follow up with them about removing it. And Incogni keeps you updated with details at every step so you know when everything's been removed. It is a fantastic service that I use, and my audience gets 60% off. Go to incogni.com slash Pacman, use the code Pacman. The link is down below.